Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today will be a little bit different because I'm looking to buy a horse for this coming up Saturday for my professional horse jumping show in Jorvik. I have a couple different horses that I would like to try out before I make a final decision and hopefully I can find a good jumper. So the places I will be looking at are Jorvik Stables, Golden Leaf Stables, Dundle, and Paddock Island. So this is basically going to be a realistic roleplay and I have done another realistic roleplay before but this one will be a little bit different. Um, this is going to be a roleplay so not everything in here is real because this is basically star stable and nothing in here is always, always real. So. I am doing a realistic roleplay where I will be buying horses and I'm super excited because I feel like this one will be a little bit better than my last one so yeah let's get straight into the video. So the first thing I started by doing was by going into the trailer to go to my first place which was Jorvik Stables. The first horse is Velma. She's a 10-year-old Mary Jorvik warm blood. She's very sweet and has a lovely walk. She is a bit spooky, but still very shy and sweet. I could see by riding her that we had a good connection, but for this show jumping, I don't think this mare would be good. She got spooked way too much, and she knocked down a few poles when she jumped. Sometimes she refused, and this one time she went right out of the riding arena all the way out to the championship, and I was really disappointed. As much as I love this horse, I just didn't think she's the right one. She was very pretty, and I loved her canter, but I just enjoyed her while it lasted. The next horse is in Golden Leaf. My trainer wanted to take a look at her first to see if she was a good horse. To be honest, I think she was really lovely. Anyways, this beautiful gelding is 7 years old and is a dark brown English thoroughbred. He has won 3 jumping competitions and does, and is a hunter slash jumper. This horse is very competitive and a bit fast. He has a lovely jumping posture and I could tell he was great. The owner of the, this horse is very old and wanted to sell this horse for a very high price of over a thousand star coins. Of course, it was a very high price, but I would still think about buying him. Of course, there were other horses I need to check out and after them, I would have my decision. This next horse is Margaret. She's a beautiful white and illusion and she's three years old. She doesn't really have too much jumping experience and her owner said she only has jumped to about 3 feet high. In the jumping competition, the jumps were about 4 to 5 feet high, so I really need to make a good decision because this horse is absolutely beautiful and I wanted to make her, you know, trained a little bit better and trying to help her to get to at least 4 or 5, five feet. So, I decided to start training her to get that far. I need to see if she go, could go higher, otherwise I wouldn't be able to take her. To my surprise, she went to at least 5 feet. And she was pretty good at it. I could tell this horse did not get a lot of attention, and the lady who rode her always kept her in her stall. I'm not quite sure I want this horse, so I decided to leave it be. This final one is at Paddock Island and is a pony. <clears throat> the owner of this pony was going to walk the pony around the course so that the pony would get used to the course before I started riding her. This pony is super small and his trot is very adorable. I really love this pony and he is absolutely just the cutest little thing. To start off, 
I went around the ring a few times and started doing a few little jumps and doing some pulls on the ground to test his agility and all his strength. This pony has amazing agility, except he knocked down a few poles and while we were jumping, he wasn't really that good of a jumper. He only got to about three feet, so I told the owner that I couldn't get him. To finalize my decision, I decided to get Brownie. He was the dark brown English thoroughbred, and I think he will do perfect for the show on Saturday, and will be great as a, just a normal horse that I will ride every day. He's a great horse and worth the price. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe for more, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!